Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Arma Video Update. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you something a little bit cool, a little bit different than just the standard update. This is gonna show you how fast the Arma vehicles can actually go out of the box and with a couple of hop-ups. Um, on our box, we actually state that the cars will go 30, at least 30 miles an hour in stock configuration with the battery included. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head outside. We're gonna do some quick speed runs in stock configuration. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in some hop-ups and we're gonna show you exactly and list out the exact parts you need to go what we claim 60 miles an hour on the Armour Box. So stick around, I'm gonna head outside and we'll show you what this thing can do in stock configuration. All right, go ahead. All right, I'll admit my job is cool and it is kind of fun sometimes to uh, get to play with toy cars a lot and see how fast they can go. As you just saw by the video, and we'll do some close-ups here to show you what the exact speeds were, um, we claimed 30 miles an hour out of the box and we actually ran between 33 and 34 miles an hour straight out of the box, stock battery, everything. Now our conditions that we were in weren't ideal, it was pretty windy out, so the speeds you may reach may be even greater than that, but, uh, but we just want to prove the point that we will go at least 30 miles an hour straight out of the box. Now, I promised I would tell you guys how we're going to achieve the 60 miles an hour, okay? Um, and just to be upfront with you guys, that isn't 60 miles an hour in scale. That is a true 60 miles an hour like you would do in your regular passenger car. So for this little car, that's looking pretty fast. So what I've got here is kind of an assortment of parts that we'll use and uh, as you'll see on the screen up here, we're actually going to show you the exact part numbers that you need. So get a pen and paper handy and start taking some notes. All right, you got your pen and paper handy? Because I'm going to show you how to get your Arma Vortex to go 60 miles an hour. So here we go. Keep an eye on the screen behind me and they're going to list out all the parts there. First, we're going to talk about some of the hop-up parts that we're going to put on here that really don't make your truck go that fast. But when you're hitting speeds of 60 miles an hour, you definitely want to protect it, make it a little bit stronger. So as you can see here, we've got our full line of Arma hop-up aluminum parts. And those red, really trick looking, but like I said, the whole key to these is making the truck stronger for hitting those high speeds. Next couple things that, that, again, aren't that important to making the truck go that fast, but we want it to handle good, is we've got much more shock oil, which are going to actually make the shocks a lot thicker so the truck doesn't sway side to side. Uh, the next thing you're going to see here is we have some GPM lead weight. And when you start hitting speeds of around 60 miles an hour, the front end's gonna get really light. So we're gonna use some of the lead weight in the front end, uh, to basically to keep the truck on the ground. Uh, as far as, as an exact amount, we're not sure. We'll add it as we need it. Okay, now let's get into the bread and butter of what's gonna make this truck go 60 miles an hour. First thing that's gonna make the biggest difference is a three cell LiPo pack. You have to make sure you get the right one, which you could see up here. We're using a flight power one and it's a three cell pack which will actually fit into this battery box and that's the whole key is finding the exact pack that will fit inside the battery box. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to change our spur gear and our pinion gears. We'll mess around with them a little bit and we'll let you know what we come up with after we do the runs of what actually achieved the 60 miles an hour speed. So uh, I'm going to head over to the R&D department. I'm going to bolt everything on here and then we're going to hit the track and see what we can do. I wish I really worked that fast in real time, but uh, that was just to give you a quick rundown of everything that we bolted onto the truck. And just a reminder, all the hop-up parts that we did put on the truck will not affect the speed we are trying to reach at all. That was just, uh, so it looks kind of cool, and we added a little bit of durability to the truck because we're not sure how this is gonna handle or how it's gonna turn out trying to reach that 60 miles an hour. But the thing to keep in mind, we've only changed three things. That's it. We've gone to a 54 tooth spur gear, a 20 tooth pinion gear, and a three cell lipo to try and achieve that 60 miles an hour. So when you think about it, straight out of the box, you may only have to add three parts total to get to that 60 miles an hour. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head outside. We're gonna do some speed runs 
Uh, we're actually gonna try it first on the two cell LiPo to see what we can get out of that. And then we'll drop in the three cell LiPo, go for the gusto and see if we can reach that 60 miles an hour. Well, okay, I'm kind of speechless. Um, I will say that was a lot of fun and very educational to say the least. Um, before I get into the speeds that we achieved, okay, I just want to remind you guys, when we ran with a stock battery right out of the box, absolutely no change to the truck whatsoever. Our three fastest runs were 33.7, 33.7, and 33.9. And that's a complete stock out of the box with the battery that's included. Okay, then we threw the two cell in just to see what we can get out of a two cell battery. That we achieved a top speed of 50.2 miles an hour and then it dropped down to 49.7 right around there. Uh, the one thing we did notice is that going that fast, we were running into occasional blowovers or almost blowing over. We controlled it pretty good. Didn't let the truck fly off the track or flip over. So what we actually did is we cut some vent holes in the hood in the roof and the whole back of the truck just to let the air flow through better and keep it on the ground a little bit more. Okay, so now, the moment of truth. You guys have been wanting the 60 miles an hour. Okay, just to remind you, pinion gear, spur gear, three cell battery, the only changes. I will say I was a little blown away because um, our third fastest speed, 66.4. The second fastest speed was 66.7 and we reached a final top speed of 67.1 miles an hour. And mind you, that's true miles an hour, not scale. So if you wanna play the scale game, that's 671 miles an hour, which is absolutely crazy. So as you can see from the video, uh, it was quite a lot of fun doing these speed runs. The sound that it makes is mind blowing. Sounds like a jet whizzing by it, you know, 60 plus miles an hour. So um, there you have it. We've we've done, you know, what everyone has questioned about, and that's proved that the truck will go over 60 miles an hour uh, with just a few changes. And as you can see, the part numbers are up there. So head out to your local hobby shop, get your Vortex, and get your parts, and start going 60 miles an hour. Thanks.